Jeff S. Cool. Your second case of Insane Ink is here. The best one from the first one, I feel like, was Willie Mays. Uh, the Willie Mays? Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. The, uh, the last of the five-star guys, I you said Earl Campbell, then it was, uh, Peyton Manning, a Blake Bortle Silver Stig to 15. After we open Jeff's stuff, we can, uh, go back through and show a little recap. And, uh, Teddy Bridgewater book! Whoa, this is a family yeah, show. Yeah, Tyler, no problem, buddy. This is a family show. What kind of photos in here? Is that Christina? Eat no, that's what's her name. Stefan. I don't know who that is. Eat the rich. Oh, Paris it's Paris. Hilton. Doesn't even look like her. I know. It's Paris Hilton, PSA, DNA. Eat no the problem, Tyler. rich. Okay. She is the rich. I know. I think there's a play on words there. I don't get it. I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to explain it. So here you go. Jeff S., you watching? That one probably will not be able to be hung in the family household. No. Right? Yeah. Nice sleepy sleeves. I'll put it back in there. What the hairy heck is this? Some sort of a contract. It's PSA DNA. It's from the William Morris Talent Agency. It's Jerry Van Dyke. <laughs> Jerry. Just what you've always wanted. A Jerry Van Dyke. Uh, Bieber Auto. That might be the creme de la creme. Jerry Van Dyke signed contract. <laughs> they shouldn't have been watching. There you go. Dick Lane Productions. Jerry Van Dyke, he's a cool guy, though. He's in a million and oh, one yeah. things. From 1972. Oh, that's when the year was? Yeah. Let's see what else is lurking in. What's up, Grammy? Welcome back. Oh, here you go. This guy's pretty current. Can we hit him like last time? He's kind of blackish. <laughs> that is his show. I saw we hit Anthony Anderson in the last case. So. Uh, I don't know if he did. You're now PC Anthony Anderson. Is that possible? Anthony Anderson... PSA DNA and let's flip this a Batman Lego oh it's Will Arnett and I like Will Arnett which is funny about this product because if you're gonna get a Will Arnett autograph you couldn't find an 8x10 of him in you know those other TV shows Arrested he was in development yeah and he was up all night yep but He's still in that new one Regardless, it's Will Arnett. The Millers or whatever, or something like that. And Anthony. Double Dipper. Anthony Anderson from Kangaroo Jack, Blackish, and The Departed. He was in The Departed? I don't know. I never saw it. That's a good movie. I heard. Not the most family-ish kind of movie, but it's... Oh, we didn't hit it. Chris thought it was him. I swore we thought it was someone. Uh, no, we thought it was Craig Robinson, but it wasn't oh. Anthony Anderson. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to go back through and look. We'll ship them all out. Here's a check in an auto. So, well, this is pretty cool. She's kind of well known. We've got a Lisa Hartman check. She spent $40 in 1974. Lights for show. So, I guess she spent the money for a show of sorts. Low budget, I think. It's a JSA cert. Cool. 
Cool. Actual check. From her bank. Here you go. Nathaniel. Oh. There's your girl. Isn't that... Mary Lynn. Chloe. Chloe from 24. I swear she was in the last case as well. I think she was. Different photo. You now PC Anthony Anderson and Mary Lynn Rice Cub. <sighs> How about a president of sorts? Like, you know, a cut sig of, like, Grover Cleveland. <laughs> Franklin Pierce. Yeah, I don't know why I chose them. But... My president knowledge used to be fierce. Like, I knew everything about them. Who was the oldest, who was the fattest, who was the skin, the thinnest, the shortest. All that fun stuff. Okay. Now we're kind of cooking with Horatio. Some sort of fuel. David Caruso. No idea what his auto is all about there. I think he's proud of his manhood, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at me. You know what he's saying? You bad guys will never come to this beach. I will find every piece of your DNA and arrest you. Isn't that what he does? I never saw CSO Miami that once. Oh, no? Pretty engaging show. I watched Las Vegas, and that was it. They're doing CSI Elgin next. I mean, that's how many seasons... <laughs> no, there is a new CSI that actually just came out, though. Did you see it? It's no. like CSI Cyber. Oh, Cyber Department. Yeah. That might be kind of cool, but how many episodes... Do you... Whoa, see, here's an 11 by 17 or the biggins what if it's a, what if it's a Star Wars thing oh, that's what I was thinking I mean I should call Scott I got a ton of Star Wars stuff back there you should I know but like I'll give you oh that looks like a September oh, 11th thing 9-11 wait a minute they can't see so we know uh, we all know what that up. is from one of the most famous photos that just were awesome there's 361 of them out of 9-11. That must be one of, I guess it's one of the firefighters. One of the right? guys. Thomas E. Franklin. Or is he the guy who took the photo, I bet. Thomas That's E. Franklin, it. the photographer who captured the historic flag rising at Ground Zero. That's cool. Now that's a framer there for your office or wherever. Yeah. That 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 I that's something I'd like to have, actually. That's not a hint, that's just a fact. <laughs> Wow, and that's 11 by 17. Put that in a nice big wooden frame with a little plaque thing. Wait, let me see that picture again. Oh, boy. That, of that thing. This? The, the, the picture of the fireman in the flag. Oh, okay. You know what I was thinking? The other photo was when Bush was standing on the pile with the... Guys, you know that photo I'm talking about? Hmm... No? Doesn't ring a bell. George I Bush was one. he was standing up on top with the megaphone in the fireman. Mm. Oh, that that says father in law is a fire chief. Is he is he still at your house, Jeff? Show show him that. He'll uh, he'll love that. Yeah. That was that was just... And then the Patriots win the Super Bowl in that season. Here's another giant Whoa. Whoa, Richard Petty. Yeah, it is Petty. That's kind of cool. That's now, a cool picture. Now we're now we're cooking with a flammable fuel. I don't know if it's gas, but we're cooking with something. Might be STP oil. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Petty, PSA, DNA. Gigantic. Another big one. Yeah. Those are cool. You should see the Star Wars ones they make at official picks for celebrations. These. Really beautiful, shiny. Mmm. Very cool. Celebration is this weekend. It's the first one I've missed. It's in California, right? I'm trying not to think about it. I saw something online. It means absolutely nothing to me. Oh, no it, it's, it's Mecca. I mean, it's... It is. Nice, Jeff. There's more important things going on in the world. Darn kids ruin everything. Just kidding. Kidding, kidding. Three more. Here we go. Let's get some more sports. Sports. 
Um, <laughs> I know, Jeff. We're getting there with the sports. Yeah, we're making headway, but we have a contract. This is a contract for Jessica Walker. Walter. Walter. Jessica. She's from our rest of development. Okay. Here's her telephone number if you would like to call her. Yes, let's do that right now. 310-474-0800. Someone call Jessica. If you want her social security number, it's there too. <laughs> from the production of Saturdays. Soon call her and seal her identity all in one fell swoop. Just let her know. Ten thousand dollars for seven days. What? One week plus two days. Ten thousand dollars. That's what it I says. I need to get that kind of job. Seven days. I'm trying to look at the year. Nineteen ninety one was ten grand for seven days. Might be doubled up by now. Easily. Okay, we were cooking with some sort of a flammable fuel. Yep. We just kind of cranked down to like putting the fire out with a water bottle. <laughs> Okay. We're peeing on the fire. At the or peeing on it. <laughs> I know, Albert. That is kind of weird. And that would be awesome, Jeff. A LeBron James yeah. contract to come back to Cleveland. That would be ridiculous. Well, it would be insane. Insane in the membrane. It's a check. Made to the post office for $239, of which we don't know what signature that is, but I think I know. Ava Gardner. And it's an Ava Gardner signed check. Does it have her cup size? She's kind of legendary. Isn't Lloyd, is that like a, isn't that British? Yeah, this is in pounds. Last one, Jeff S. Let's get insane. Yeah, let's get insane. You think there's something insane in here? I don't know. The last one. What do you think? It's, it looks like it's... I think I know what it is. You do? I don't know who it is, but it's like a plaque from the Hall of Fame. Oh! Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Do we need some music? I would think so. I think oh, we, yeah. I think we're cooking with gas. Or kerosene, at least. Jeff will be happy. It's a stand the man. Stanley Frank the usual. Some sort of Hall of Fame. That's what you buy like the gift shop. Yeah. Signed by Stan the Man. Do I have a uh, Unfortunately, He's got all kinds of uh, JSA stickers on it. Jeff S., are you happy with that? Card. It's not a eight by ten. It's a. Like you said, thing you get at the gift shop. You think Stan was like hanging out there? Maybe. And someone bought this and was like, "Hey, Stan, would you mind signing this?" Yeah. There you have it, Jeff. Insane Inc. Thanks for allowing us to be the ones to break it. See you, Albert. Have a good night, man. Good night, Albert. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff S. Thanks for allowing us. A little to bit be the all across the board, I feel like. It's yeah. Like... I mean, the way I see it, if anything, you have a bunch of stuff. Like, <laughs> you, you know? That is true. You have a bunch of stuff. You kind of look at it monetarily, okay, but you've got probably 30, 40 items. He wants to do a boomer, doesn't he? Yeah, he's going to do a boombox. I wanted to show these really quick. Show these.